Kirk Weinstein wants Down to return with new music in 2024, and he ain't the only one. <laughs> What's up guys, um, Thrash Potato with another video, this one's uh, been out for a little while, I've been sick, but this is some very exciting news for me, so I kind of wanted to cover it, Via Metal sucks, pretty awesome. It's been a minute since we heard from the supergroup Down, but that doesn't mean the act is dead. No, we haven't gotten that cover album, nor have they finished the line of acoustic EPs that they promised like 20 years ago or so far at this point, but if Kirk Weinstein gets his way, maybe we'll get some new music next year. Dude, I just want another freaking heavy Down album, I'm pretty sure they'll do justice, I've liked pretty much all of them. If you think I ain't excited for a new down album, you're freaking witch tripping, dude. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait. The news came while Weinstein was speaking with Scott Pamphol on Loaded Radio as transcribed by Blabbermouth.net. During this little chat, Weinstein discussed the future of Down and how schedules may finally align in such a way that the guys can get together and start working on stuff. And that's amazing. I know Phil's probably going to be busy for a little bit. I don't think the Pantera tribute is like the main thing going on for him. I just think they're out there spreading some metal for a while. But I don't think it's going to go away either because it's freaking amazing. I talked to Phil a pretty good bit and we're all gonna go out to his house and his property later this month in October So this was a lot last month. He kind of does like a little Halloween thing or whatever So we're gonna do that. I saw some video of it. It's pretty awesome, dude Phil's attitude is kind of just like look fellas I'm gonna do what I'm doing with Pantera I love it We're killing it and boy they are we as in crowbar had the pleasure of playing with Pantera in Poland early in June Oh, dude, that's amazing. I didn't know that it was unbelievable. I can only imagine it was unbelievable I mean I laughed I cried my emotion was something else because I was very tight with late Pantera guitarist Dimebag Daryl. Dude, he's Hulk blood. I don't know if you guys seen the videos where dude's running around as Hulk, smashing everything. That's Kurt, dude. So of course they were tight, dude. That's fucking so badass. He goes on to say it's real. What they're doing is real. But what Phil said, hey man, in the big picture of things, dude, I really don't have a band. See, that's what I'm talking about. I'm doing a Pantera reunion thing. Of course, they're gonna do it as long as they can. I mean, I don't blame them and I don't blame him either. You know what I'm saying? I mean, who would? You do what you gotta do and they're killing it. And they're they're doing it heartfelt for the bright reasons and I love it dude I'm with you bro everybody loves it I think it's freaking amazing I think it's died out people that are just like it's a this and that I think they just faded away and now we accept that the stuff's here for now because what are you gonna do except for hit the show you know what I'm saying and I talked to Pepper about two or three days ago I think he's got a few shows early in November with COC and he's off for a while Crowbar's next gig is in Ireland oh that's sick in late February so we're off for a good bit so they're all just doing their own thing right now anyway so I mean dude you man you talk about just a unit spreading music in all types of directions dude it's freaking amazing and when you have five guys well phil of course will be kind of out of the picture from now but me pepper jimmy and pat Ooh, pat is still in it hell yeah that's what i'm talking about it's gonna be pretty amazing in a room together you got all these guys writing riffs off of each other and that's the way i like to write i like to write spontaneously and off the cuff i don't like to go okay this is my new song boom here you all go or whatever i like to write off the cuff on the spot that's dope dude that I, is there any way other way to do it because i mean that's me that's the way that feels more more comfortable as well even though my stuff's kind of cheesy i mean we're talking about the professionals here i feel what the other guys are giving me vibe wise and whatnot and that to me is a winning formula it really is and it really is every album knocks it out of the park i remember back early in the 90s when cds were just the thing we ran to a little record shop called the mad hatter in inland empire riverside and my buddy grabs this ministry tape and i seen this cd that was freaking down it had a little sticker in the corner and it said featuring members of pantera crowbar i hate God, corrosion of conformity. I lost my mind. I had to get it right away. I took it, I brought it back to the pad, took it to the bros, and I spread it like a virus. Everybody hit on it, dude. It was freaking amazing. One of the coolest albums. Down's first album, No Love is one of one of my all-time favorite albums. That album hits hard, man. I can't wait to hear what they do. Now that's a little strange how Weinstein lays it all out there. Since my guy is also going to be a bit busy with I Am, the other super group he's in, with the members of Crowbar and Typo Negative. What? I never even heard of that. Are you kidding me? What no way, I gotta check that out. They've gotta be busy working on songs for their debut release. So it's curious how we'll also get a new Down album along the way. That is pretty curious. I didn't know he was even crushing that one. That being said, Weinstein is a hell of a musician and a busy dude. Man, he's like the king of heavy, bro. So if anyone can swing it, he can. I agree with that. When he asked about the possibility of the new Down tunes coming out next year, Kirk admitted that it's still up in the air. He said, I hope, but we hope too, man. And to be honest, we talked about doing this, like, cover song EP, but we threw it around like 100 songs and we can't pick and choose any of them. So to me, it'd be easier to just go, hey guys, let's get in the room and just write some shit. Hey man, that would be so awesome. Come out with six songs and do an EP 
beat. So I hope that's what happens. Yeah, because I can only imagine they're going to lay down some heavy tunes. Phil jump in and be like, let me fill these in for you real quick. Bam, we got a new down album. That's amazing. And he goes on to say, to be honest, I don't know. And this is not from Phil or Pantera Bases Rex Brown or anything. They can do the Pantera thing forever. Like as far as festivals in South America, Europe and whatnot, they can. They can always go and do a weekend or two in the summer here and there between Zach, Pantera's Phil and guitars and Charlie Benente's drums. You know, they they have their bands as well. So I, I understand the schedule is kind of crazy. Whatever they're up to with their respective bands, I hope that they do it forever. We all do. Can't wait, man, because all these bands are great. When we got down together in 91, that was the first demo tape. We wrote Bury Me in Smoke, Temptations, Wings, and Losing All all day. We recorded it. Phil sang. We mixed it off on a four track or some shit, and that was it. Phil flew back to Texas, and Pepper flew back to North Carolina with COC. So when we were together, we always joked, but it's no longer a joke that this is the kind of band that we can grow old with. It doesn't matter what we look like. We can be fat, we can be bald. We're not attracting 18 year old girls. If they want to be a fan of the music, great. If you're a Taylor Swift fan, hey man, more power to you. It's all good, whatever. But that was not our intention. And it's kind of ironic or whatever that it's kind of come full circle where we see ourselves going, hey guys, we're closing in on our mid 50s and 60s. This is a band that we can actually do and kill it, then retire with maybe. 100% dude, go for it, man. He's 100%, man. Uh, Down's amazing to me. I love that band. No, I mean, regardless, I freaking, I flipped my lid when even Down 2 came out. I didn't even think that was ever going to happen. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I personally believe is going to happen. And I hope that in the near future, that's what happens. And we're able to do more Down in, say, 24, 25, whatever. But there's no time limit on anything. I mean, Phil's doing what he's doing, and God bless him for that. And I'm so proud of him. I really am. Dude, it's amazing. Now, this is my thought on it. Before I sign out, check this out. Once everything gets together, you all got to get some new music going. All right. Right, it's time for a festival, man, and I mean a shindig. Down, COC, Pantera, freaking I Hate God. Just having a whole festival of all you guys, man. Can you imagine that? If you go to that, man, I will sell my wife and kids to hit that ticket, man. That would be amazing, dude. Let me know what you guys think about some more Down coming out. I definitely, as you can tell already, I'm totally on board. I can't wait till we hear some new stuff, man. All right, uh, Metal Sucks went ahead and linked the video right here of the mind of Kirk Weinstein, so you can hear all of that. You can hear it all personally. Go ahead and check out this article on Metal Sucks. If you guys like, go ahead and like, subscribe. I really appreciate it. We'll have some more metal stuff and some more guitar stuff coming at you, man. Remember, guys, stay metal. Late.